to the stream. Because last time, oh wait, last time on Master Detective Rain Code, um, <laughs> we um, pretty much was exploring all this new place, this new city kind of thing, and um, we found out of something called like the um, what, what was it, Nail Man? Yeah, it was the Nail Man. And he pretty much uh, goes around and kills people. So like you, you, I'm trying to remember how this goes, but uh, so you as a person would uh, put a name and like a doll on a back, a back on a tree on the back of the church. And nail man will find that person and kills that person by sticking a whole bunch of nails into that person. And it used to be an urban legend, but I guess like four months ago, it started actually happening to real people. Um, so now they're trying so now they think they found the person they found this carpenter who was working on the tower they think he's the one that did it so they're going to try and uh, uh get him but the son told us that it's not him and we need to go find the real person so we're going to go investigate the clock tower where apparently the dead body still is so let's get on to it shall we let's get on to it let's get on Make sure the sounds are good. Cool. Hey, let's go. Uh, yep, that's the kid. Please. Help my dad. Right, I have checked the crime scene to prove his innocence. Please be careful. <laughs> but yeah, no, um, let me put the mic a little bit close to my face so you guys can hear me. Um, yeah, I wanted to get through there so I can get that thing, but I guess I can't, so I have to wait. Um, cool. Awesome. Let's go to it. Lock tower. Here we go. Has anyone ever remembered that old, like, horror game, the clock tower? I wish they would do a remaster of that. That'd be dope. I would love to get, like, a cool, like, HD remaster of the clock tower. Ooh, actually. Sorry, I, whenever I hear like the staticky in my ears, is usually because um, I have to reset this device that I use to capture my my video. Usually it goes away after I reset it though. Yeah, there we go. Cool, cool. Awesome. Let's back to it. Cool. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. Yes, what Shinigami has said. Huh? Yep, yep. Use the stairs so you don't get fat. I I don't want to get fat though. I'll use the stairs. You can do it, master. Oh. Thunder lightning. You know, for a place that's like always raining, it didn't, doesn't seem like there's a lot of thunder or lightning. Except when I'm in here, apparently. Which means that, like, not only they have reusable water, because it's infinite rain, so they can use the water to, like, pretty much have infinite water. And also, with the lightning strikes, they could probably direct that lightning to, like, a rod and get limited let lightning. I mean, a little uh, limited electricity. I think that's how it works, right? Pretty sure that's how it works. Oh, but what's this? A suspicious ladder. The storage room is on the third floor of the clock tower, right? I don't think it's that way. Oh, I was, I'm just curious. I'm just curious. Anything else I can see? Oh, oh okay. Sorry, I thought I saw something. All right, door. The crime happened in the storage room on the third floor of the clock tower, so it should be right behind this door. There may be a corpse still in there. Oh, there might be a corpse still in You've here. You've already seen plenty of corpses on the Amaterasu Express. The party up. She's not wrong. She's not wrong. Doesn't mean I want to see any more. To be honest, Ooh. until I opened that door, none of it felt very real to me. I'd been treating the case as if it was something that happened to someone else long ago. But the moment I opened the door, all of 
my delusions vanished in an instant. This is real. Oh. Oh, it's a girl. Holy frick. What they killed like a little this? girl. Is that a real corpse? It's not some mannequin, is it? This blood is real? Oh. How? Why? You see that thing on her neck? Jeez, it's just some freakish, gruesome murder scene. Get it together. <laughs> Always seems slight of it. Let me just say that you'll come across this stuff all the time as a detective. Oh. So don't be scared. Investigate. Uh, hurry, before the peacekeepers come back. Shinigami, you don't feel anything after seeing this body? It's a Shinigami. Uh, you're asking me how I feel about death? Yeah. Let me tell you, this is totally ordinary. This ordinary? It's absolutely abnormal. It's normal for it to be abnormal. You're oh. dealing with a murder case in a city like this. It's not Either wrong. You accept it or go insane. Blood is just a liquid, a body is just an object. Got it? Now take a look around before someone gets in your way. Chop chop. Chop chop. <sighs> Fine. You're right. I should hurry before the peacekeepers return. Yep. Now let's start the investigation. Also, any clues you find during your search will be recorded by yours truly. Oh, she's gonna record all my stuff. And That's kind of cool. Materialize once you get to the mystery labyrinth later. I don't want to go back there anymore. Someone will die once the mystery is solved. <laughs> you are so naive. Having sympathy for the criminal you're catching. Blood place is suspicious. So expect an investigation marker to gather information to solve the case. New solution keys can be acquired by advancing the investigation. Boo! Ah, Ruth! Oh my god! Ah. But don't worry. Um, right now, I'm helping my brother cook some food. And um, as soon as the food's done, he's going to let me know. And I'm going to um, eat some food. No, it's taking out the trash. No, I want it first. I want it first. <laughs> you can. Uh, there's actually a. a uh, there's actually a uh, redeem to like be noticed. Yeah, it's the the sticky the sticky linky is actually the first one who came in. But it's good to see it, my friend. It's good to see you, my friend. Well, I haven't gotten far. All I did is climb up the tower, and now I have this room. This lovely, beautiful room with nothing bad going on. At all, other than you know. Yep, it's a corpse. Yep, a corpse. <laughs> yeah, there you go. See, you have been noticed, Ruth. What's up? Are you staying out of wooden box? No. I thought there might be a clue related to the case. It's covered in dust. There's no evidence it was moved. It's probably not related, right? All right, let's look somewhere else. Huh? It's all covered in dust, so there must not be any reason why. Kind of weird that they will allow us to like look at it though. And then I'm just gonna step on these dolls. This a window. Seems important. Maybe. It's so a window. This is the only window. They've installed shutters instead of glass. Hmm. The shutters look new despite the building's old age. It must have been added later on. Let me the see the body. For someone to fit through. Huh. Hey, bro. Oh, sweet. I was gonna get it. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Love you. My brother got me food. How awesome he is. According to the Feel bad because his hand hurts. The shutters were already closed at the time of discovery. So they've been left alone like this. Hey, how about you try opening them? Gonna hear my ASMR eating, okay? No, my brother's awesome. It won't open. It's locked. Were the shutters locked when the body was discovered? Because mm. it wouldn't be an open. It wouldn't be a locked room. Secret password or something. 
No, I don't think it's a password. Hey, there's a latch on the left side. I think I can move it. The left side. Oh, so you can open it. Right, it opened. The latch was pretty light. It can be easily adjusted. Mm -hmm. It's rather high up. It's above the third floor on most buildings. Mm -hmm. It's impossible to jump off from here. Even if you tried climbing down, there's nothing to hold on to out there. You can see the big clock above, but there's nothing really suspicious here. Huh. Hmm. It'd be difficult for the culprit to get in and out from here. Hmm. What is this room for anyway? What's that sound? Oh, locked again. Oh, it's locked again. So whenever it closes, it locks. Master, why are you still playing with the shutters? You want to be friends with them? That is important to know, though. No, that's not it. Now it won't go down. Hmm. I get it. This shutter stops once it goes all the way up. Hmm. But when set halfway, it's designed to fall down with its own weight. And then lock itself. And if it goes all the way down, it automatically locks. Hmm. I don't hmm. get it, but you're really fixated on these shutters. Hmm. I'll make them a solution key for you. Just in case you open a shutter shop one of these days. A shutter shop. Shutters stop when they raise. Hmm? There's something under the window. The dolls? What's that? Did you find something interesting? Was well, wet. The bottom of the window. One more second, Ruth. We'll get you the body after this. I just curious. Some rain got in when you opened the window earlier. Mm -hmm. No, the parts starting to dry are leaving stains. This didn't get wet just now. So the window was Maybe open during the murder. The tears from the nail dolls. <laughs> no more horror stuff. She's okay with death, but no she does like horror. Here too? These two are lined up and nailed together. Hmm. Huh? What's this? A oh. yellow thread is attached to the nail in the doll. On a closer look, it seems the thread left marks on the nail. What could it mean? Do you think it was like a pulley system? Uh, this is suspicious. You should remember this. Mm -hmm. I wonder if there was some kind of thread, like a pulley system. All right, all right, Ruth. Okay, okay. We'll check out the body. I guess I'll have to search the body, huh? The moment we've all been waiting for. You got here before they took it away, aren't you? Oh, yeah. I can't stomach calling myself lucky when I think about the victim. This is definitely a real corpse. A neck, not though. A doll. I oh, my God. Is. The peacekeeper report didn't include any details. Damn, rip. <laughs> yep, very rip, very rip. She didn't deserve this. Hmm. Cut the chatter, master. Hurry, hurry. All right, who was she? This is terrible. The body is covered in nails pinning her to the floor. What's this? There's a mark on the neck. Yeah, she looks like she was hung. It looks like a rope burn. Mm. Vertical scratch marks were made by the victim as she struggled. Oh, she tried to cut a herself. Victim usually ends up with marks like this when they thrash around while getting strangled by a rope. So was she killed That's by... Fair typical when it comes to strangulation victims oh. seen it a bunch of times i bet i bet so she probably so was she hung was first yeah she was strangled first and then she was nailed the report didn't say anything about the cause of death hmm. hmm i wonder why it should have been easy to figure out hmm they didn't investigate at all they got the chance to see a corpse up close and they blew it they probably didn't care 
In any case, finding out the cause of death is huge. Major. So, okay. A doll on a wall. There are dolls nailed all over the walls and floor. Mm. What a ghastly sight. Mm. All the dolls here look antique. They're looking at me as if they're full of hate. Mm. It would have taken a ton of time to do all this by hand. Hmm. Why would the culprit go to the trouble to do this? This to probably hide. Maybe it's to link it back to the urban legend about the nail man. All you need to do is write down the name of someone you wish dead. Someone you hate so much you could kill them. Then make a doll resembling that person, nail the name tag to it, and leave it at the forest behind the church. This summons the nail man, who will the kill that man. person for you. Or well, so the legend goes. Whoever is killed by the nail man is pinned by countless nails. But why would the culprit go through so much trouble to imitate an urban legend? And what does that have to do with the dolls? Or maybe it's the real nail man. Well, they, like, so let me get this straight. The legend of the nail, nail man is that if you put your name on a doll, like, like, like a doll in the woods, they, the nail man will come and kill that person and then nail that victim with a whole bunch of nails. What does that have to do with the antique dolls? Like, does, like, is that part of the story? I think he's uses the doll for a cover-up, you know, to cover up something. Like, the two dolls that had the threads around them. That's what I think. I love how she can't handle cold the horror stuff. But she, but, but she's okay with uh, murder. What else? Got that. Anything else? It seems to be pretty much it. Ugh. Excuse me. Is that really it? Nothing else? What's up? You know. Over in dust. Hmm. What if this actually does have something to do with the case? I don't know. Like, how else would the dolls would the dolls all stored here? I'm guessing. In his boxes, maybe. Hmm. And what the else is in here? This is the only door in the room. The lock is broken. They say the door was locked from the inside when the body was discovered. That must mean the peacekeepers broke the lock to get inside. Mm -hmm. So the inner lock is the type where you turn a latch. I don't see any evidence of it being tampered with. There's a keyhole on the outside of the door, but it's filled up and rusted. This didn't happen recently. It may have been like this way before the incident. Hmm. Hey, why is the keyhole plugged? They might have figured it was unnecessary. The inner lock is probably left over from when the room needed both locks. Mm -hmm. Either way, it doesn't seem like we can open it with a duplicate key or anything. There's no gap when the door I'm here officially closed. now. It's great to it's hear you. To tamper with it. We're getting deep into the, the mystery way now. To unlock this door is to turn the latch from inside. That was locked. That should be enough. And that's a wrap. This can be ended once you finish examining everything. Feel free to stop whenever. Okay, so now it's all over. So here's my here's my thoughts, okay? So I'm pretty sure the person uh used these two dolls. And use like a rope or a string to get out of there. Looks like there's nothing left to check. 
and the gate was open, but then he used some kind of rope maybe to pull it down halfway so that it will um so it will close so it'll be a lock room case. He probably locked this from the inside, probably. There's still a lot of questions, but that's just my hunch. That's why there's a whole bunch of dolls all over the place, because they wanted to make it like all scary and confusion. But they want to make sure these dolls were the ones that helped her helped him get away. So I think. Yeah. I agree, the shutters definitely have a play. Definitely, definitely. I just don't know how the events happen. Yeah, we'll probably figure it out, but I like figuring out small things like this. Small things like this. You know, as time goes on. I'm taking in this luscious locked room atmosphere. <laughs> anyway, let's leave before the peacekeepers come. They just cause more trouble for us. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Huh? Oh, right. Hmm. Can we go up? Can we go up here now? Yeah, I want to go up there. Speaking of which, what's this ladder over here? That goes up to the clock, probably. Should we take a look? I'm guessing this room is used for storage, and then this is the actual like clock. There doesn't seem to be anything suspicious about it. I think that kid said his dad was here to fix the clock. Oh, so mm -hmm. that's the clock. Was he about to head back home after fixing it? I don't know why, but I like or this. Like, just about to start I like. It. I don't know. Probably I like his shoes. Way. I like how glowy they are. The well, I'll think about it later. I wonder if the victim was he, even someone who had her name on the doll. What if she wasn't even supposed to be connected to the nail man at all? Yeah, I wonder if she just just happens to be there, you know? Or what if she was... Oh, what if she was dead before they brought her up here and then nailed her? You know what I mean? I don't know how long ago, but maybe she was killed and brought up here. We probably would have... And she... Because there would be no blood because she died from strangulation. And then they pinned her to the ground and that's what made the blood. You know, that's what it could be. Mm-hmm. Anything else? Oh, yeah, nothing else. Okay, cool. Alright. Let's continue on I'm going to steal his shoes because I want them. I want I want them too. I want them too. I like his shoes. I like how glowy they are. Power. Nun stockings. Who's the nun? Art gallery does visits prior to installation. I did not talk for a while. Oh, it's you. Hey. Oh, we're here. Did huh? he find something? What's the matter? What's up? Find a body or something? Oh, we're here. Hey, this kid's getting a little creepy. How far does this go? Oh, hey, look at this. Whoa, look at, okay, look at that. Does his eyes look like they're glowing? The eyes look like they're glowing. This is creepy, right? This is super creepy. It looks like his eyes are glowing. I'm pretty sure it's just like the lighting and the, the model and stuff like that. But it looks kind of creepy. I gotta say, it looks Keep pretty creepy. Hey, wait, oh, wait, hold on, buddy. Hold on. I, I've been wanting to get over here this whole time. Creepy kid. Okay, cool, that's what I wanted. Okay, now I'll talk to the creepy kid. Bro, I just noticed. Yikes. Yeah, right? It's freaking weird. While you were checking the clock tower, I took a look around the building. Oh. And I found these. Footprints? Mm hmm? Maybe these belong to the culprit. What? The what? culprit? 
But why would it be behind the building? I'm not sure. Let's check. There are a set of footprints on the wet ground near the wall. Wait, was the shutters on the back? Portion. The only thing I can discern is that they weren't sneakers. Hmm. They could be loafers. But the footprints seem strange. This is probably where the the shutters were. Look, the footprints are facing the wall. This looks like whoever made them was walking toward the wall. You're saying the guy disappeared through the wall? We're dealing with wall facing man now? He probably was um <laughs> probably Phantom party. And the end right under that window. Mm -hmm. Is this just a coincidence? Or does it have something to do with the murder? It probably has something to do with the murder. Um, what do you think? Are these the footprints of the real culprit? But why is there no other footprints though? Mm -hmm. It's just that footprints, that's it. To be honest, there's not much I can say with just this. At the very least, I hope I can prove the footprints aren't his father's. Hey, what kind of shoes does your dad usually wear? Or what if he climbed it? Huh? But they proved that it wasn't going to be easy to climb. So that's why I think it has something to do with the rope. Sneakers. The rope. He was wearing them today. Sneakers, okay. Does he ever wear loafers? Sometimes, but not usually. It would be one thing if he didn't own a single pair of loafers, but I can't rule him out yet. Still, mm. I wouldn't want to waste the kid's discovery of these footprints. It could be he climbed it, but I think he used a rope. I think he used a rope. Yeah, there was spurs first trace in the wall behind the car. So, do you think you can find oh. the real culprit? That's why I think I think he used a rope to yeah, scale it. I think maybe i might need a little more time though which you would think maybe there'd be mud on the wall or from him oh, stepping on it but also the I'll rain could have way. washed it away thank you i know he's worried about his dad if he really is innocent i want to prove it while i'm at it maybe i should ask him more about his father um did you notice anything different about your dad this morning? Um, my dad went out late last night to work on the clock, <clears throat> so I didn't see him this morning. He was he gone was out all since day. Last night, so he stayed the night here. <coughs> That's his job. Why would he spend his night there? His job is to repair clocks. He doesn't just repair them; he also sells them. Watches and wall clocks, too. Oh, so he's a watchmaker. Wait, the peacekeeper report said his occupation was unknown. Hmm. Maybe it's more convenient for them if they intend to declare him as the culprit of the mailman murders. Oh, he's getting framed as the culprit. He framed they made up their minds and dropped the investigation. How dare he? Does your dad also manage this clock tower? No, he only checks on that. Be right back, guys. Be right back. I'm gonna let this play auto for a second. Yesterday, he got an urgent request to fix it. The clock wasn't keeping time, so he was called to repair it. My dad is usually happy to repair any clock, but he always grumbles about how much he hates the clock tower. He hates it? Why? Because... He's afraid of heights. He's scared of even climbing up the clock tower. But he bites the bullet and does his work without looking outside. A fear of heights. He's afraid of climbing the clock tower and refrains from looking outside, so it sounds serious. Master, you're improving so much thanks to my training. You're even getting better at pretending to think. I'm not pretending. I'm serious here. Hmm? I hear 
hearing noise outside. I hear talking. Maybe those guys woke up. Let's take a look. So I heard that he was he was afraid of heights. So yeah, so he's afraid of heights. So he, so I wonder where he was found. You know, that's the main thing. I wonder where he was found when they captured him. Was he like up high? Was he down low? But he couldn't be the killer because he wouldn't. He wouldn't be able to. Um, he wouldn't be able to leave. You know what I mean? Unless he was found in the locker room. That's right. Hey, there's no way he could kill someone in this This is truly... Let's say you find a way to prove his innocence. Oh, but... There's enough information yet. Ugh. What should we do? I can't go in here. Uh... I can't do that. Alright, this might be scary. Oh, no. They're still, they're still asleep. Oh, who is this? Who's this person? Oh, who is like Kitsune mask on the back? Well, that will code for a while. Who's this guy? Everyone, please wake up. This is Amaterasu Peacekeepers, Investigation Team, Section Chief Seth Burrows. Seth Burrows? Chief Seth Burrows? Ah. Okay, okay. This guy is interesting. I like that we still see meeting new characters. You're late. Please wait. Yeah, he's clearly not this a primary suspect, but they can't just call him the nail man. Chief true, true. Burrows. Oh, he didn't turn it on. Yeah, he's definitely not the prime suspect, but we need to find out who's the real one. We need to find out who's who could be the killer. There are fools in town who do not comprehend the majesty of the peacekeepers. Mm -hmm. Many of them have been eliminated already, but I've heard some outsiders have recently arrived. Recently arrived. Go find witnesses and extract information to see who has interfered with us. They may still be nearby. Capture anyone that even appears suspicious. Suspicious. Oh, and did you clean up the body at the crime scene? If not, then hurry along with that. The rain in this city makes bodies rot quickly. You better hurry, or it will putrefy. Putrefy. Well, look at he's inside. Uh oh, to yeah. To speed this case along, we need to quickly deal with that nail man we arrested. We should even consider a public execution. Oh no. <laughs> he looks at the kid. Um, uh... an execution. What do we do at this rate? My dad. Oh no! I doesn't care about the truth. He just wants to wrap up this case as soon as possible. In this city, what they say becomes the truth. Hmm. What? I know, right? The only way to save your dad is to catch the real culprit. We need to catch the real. Can do it. Leave it to me. Really? Thank you. But first, we have to leave this area before they find us. I know a secret way out. You can pass through here to get back to a street in Ginma District. Oh. You might stand out if you're with me. So I'll go a different direction. Are you sure you'll be okay alone? Yes, I play around here often. Um, please help my dad. Hmm. Yeah, just you wait. 
It's still so many questions. There's so many things. Like, the game is designed so that we can't get all the answers from the very beginning. Like, you can't. It's literally impossible to try to get all the answers from the very beginning. Um, but it's really cool to try to figure out, like, piece by piece. And it usually helps you out as you do more investigations. But I'm really curious. Like, so many things I want to figure out. More eco conscious. Sure. Maybe you should try to be more eco conscious. Ego conscious. Or maybe more libido conscious. <laughs> That's not what I meant. This this place is horrible. Yeah, this place is a not like this is not a good place, you know. The power and the rich rules while everyone else is just scum to be passed along. Kinda how it is here. Yeah, I know, right? What if he was the killer? I doubt it, but what if he was? Often, but I can't ignore someone asking for help. If no one else is willing to listen, then it's up to me. Mm -hmm. Wow! Get a load of this big shot! Didn't expect that from you, Master. But how do you plan to find the real culprit? You can't investigate the clock tower with the peacekeepers around. By the way, you can't use the mystery labyrinth yet. Not enough clues. Mm. If you jump into the labyrinth now, you'll be lost forever. You need to gather more solution keys. Oh, that's interesting. I don't ever want to go back there anyway. Then I have to. How do you intend on solving this? I have to use one way. Oh, am I going to ask help? Ask for help, I feel. What was the spot again? Something about a cafe? Yeah, but I don't think I can afford her. Mm-hmm. We're gonna see Nightmare. The, the best girl. Be best girl. Yen, right? Do you have that kind of money, Master? Or are you gonna go into debt? I'm probably going to go into debt. But come on. Do it for the waifu. Do it for the waifu. Alara, please help me. If Master is bowing to show respect, I guess I better do the same. Please, for both our sakes. <laughs> You're 30 minutes later than expected. Hmm. Later than expected. So, do you have the cash? I don't have any on me right now, but you gotta I try somehow. You gotta try. Very well. I don't require you to have it immediately, but you will pay me five million five hundred thousand eight hundred yen eventually. Oh wow. Huh? But you said it was five million before. The the price went up. It's an additional fee for making me wait, and for the coffee. I told you I don't work for cheap. Wow. Come on. So <laughs> ruthless. A greedy little money demon. I think I'll call this one Hell Aura. Hell Aura? I won't force your hand. Whatever you decide is up to you. Mm -hmm. While you think it over, I'm going to order some cake. Wait, do I have to pay for that too? course <sighs> i'll add it to the bill really i would totally all just right, i'll pay you all 5.5 million and 800 shin got it wow please don't have the cake it's a deal you made a wise choice mm. i have no obligation to help others 
but I work sincerely according to the payment I receive. That is my pride as a detective. Oh. I will be your eyes and limbs, and help solve this crime with everything I have. However, know this. You must be the one to complete the boy's assignment. Uh, me? You are the one who was asked to solve this case. All I will do is provide support. Five million dollars just for support is a little much. You are still a detective. Once you have taken a job, you must finish it. In other polar. words, as of now, I have taken up a position as your assistant. Really, Halara? You'll be assistant, my assistant, huh? Of course. I'm here to assist for your case. Just rest assured in the cards you've been dealt. That's All interesting. Right. Thank you. Master has no memory and no guts. And now he has no money either. I never had money in the beginning with. Talk about a triple threat. Oh, be quiet. <laughs> so, what do we do now? <sighs> to confirm, our target is the true culprit of the nailman killings, correct? The peacekeepers have decided that the boy's father is the nailman and arrested him. But I refuse to accept that outcome. I refuse. After we finish the investigation, we may find out the boy's father is actually the nailman. If that's what you conclude, then I'll believe you, Halara. Hell, Lara. Believe. What a foolish line of reasoning. Mm. To believe in another is the shallowest concept one can uphold. Oh, really? Wow. All people lie. All people change their minds. As a detective, you must suspect all others, even me. Oh, yeah, at least he's not a loan shark. Detective You're not wrong. Doubt everything. A detective must doubt everything. Still, I will believe what you say, Halara. I trust my instincts on this. Mm. Out of the question. A detective must never overlook a mystery. Any and all truths must be exposed. Yep. A detective must always prioritize solving a case. Emotions must be discarded to reach a perfect solution through a perfect deduction. That's the WDO's motto. You're free to think of me as you wish. However, the truth must be found with your own eyes. Ooh. Otherwise, so in our arguments, we don't have to believe that we have to pay her here. <laughs> yeah, no, I, yes. do, that means I don't have to pay you guys. So I don't believe it. That's how we're going to get around it. I still haven't found meaning in being a detective. What's Alara trying to make me see? I'm no good at this. I like this loophole. It's good loophole. It's good loophole. might be incompatible with such a straight-laced detective like this one. Maybe someone totally unmotivated would be better. Like that guy sleeping under the piano. Vivia? I'm not sure if unmotivated is the right word. He just gives up on life. Wait, Master, I've been wondering... Is this Holara person a man or a woman? Oh. Uh... uh now that you mention it... She could be whoever she wants no to be. If you're ready, we'll start the investigation. I won't allow time to be wasted. Oh. Oh, right. Yeah, they can, they can be whatever they want. Ask. But then again, I also don't really care. You finished investigating the clock tower, didn't you? Oh. Now we will investigate the past mailman cases. The past ones? These are serial killings, aren't they? That means multiple. Oh, so you want to investigate the past murders as well. And through investigating each one, we can conclude if the boy's father is really the culprit or not. Mm -hmm. Oh, but we don't know where the other crimes took place. 
Should we Why was questions? the question on her mind? Yeah, I know. I don't know why she had that question. But she is kind of hor like a horn dog, so she might got interested. You know what I mean? A mansion in a high-end residential district <coughs> and an art gallery in Gima district. The art gallery. Huh? Mansion. Well, when did you find that out? You think I did nothing while waiting at the cafe? I prepared by gathering intel in order to move the investigation along. That's amazing. With my logic, anything is possible. Oh. But before we head to past crime scenes, Ooh. the mailman urban legend requires more research. Let's visit the legend's main stage. Is that the, the main stage? Is that the church? Like the forest and the church? Oh. You Thank you. Church. I have yet to pinpoint the church's location. We should ask someone to guide us there. Mm -hmm. Then we should ask the chief. Oh, I totally forgot about him. He told me to gather everyone. Oh yeah, we kind of forgot all about that. Let's go back to the office for now. We're already way past the meeting time. Very well. We can ask the chief to take us to the church. Is she following me now? Oh, she is. She is following me. Look at that. Hmm. Um, I'm able to like teleport, right? I will. I should be able to. I think I should be able to teleport. Couldn't unable to travel by bus. Oh, that's kind of interesting. I wonder why. I can travel by bus over here. There's, there's three. There's three mysteries I can do over here. I wonder why I can't travel by bus there. Still really cool scenery, I like it. But yeah, if you mean to put the music of this game on here, pretty sure I'm pretty sure there's something. I think the people on the I think people are on the lookout for you. Oh, is that the reason why I can't teleport over there? Hmm, that makes things sus. Very sus. It's I wonder what's her for forte. I wonder what's her forte is. No. And yes, I the side missions, but I'll have to do that another time. Oh wait, no, I didn't mean to go here, dude. There you go again. Down here, right? That's where I need to go? Yeah. I'm hurrying, I'm hurrying, just looking. Just looking. That's okay, as long as you don't pass the chapter. Yeah, as long as we don't pass the chapter. Which I was meaning to do a lot of the side missions. Like, I was thinking, I was thinking about doing a lot of the side missions um, like on my own. Like, when I go to work and stuff like that. Because that really have nothing to do with the actual main story. And that's just to get your your skills a little bit higher oh it's the peacekeepers right stay on look huh? oh right oh wait is he captured Chief. and that peacekeeper from the clock tower it's roses Seth Burrows. 
Set a high-ranking peacekeeper who's quite infamous for being sly and persistent. Mm -hmm. Why is that flowers? Well, we sure got some heavy rain again, huh? Oh, the humidity makes my hair fuzzier than normal. Oh. I don't care. Huh? What, what did you say? I don't care. Oh, he's just a quiet speaker. More importantly, you sent your detectives to interfere with the mailman case, didn't you? We have witnesses. Huh? Mailman? Uh, now that you mention it, there was a case like that before. Oh, wait, no. I don't know anything. Oh. <sighs> this flower. It's beautiful, isn't it? That smile, though. Huh? Created by Amaterasu Corp's research, this precious work of art is adapted to Kanai Ward's environment. Hmm. Oh. So they can grow. Once picked, it can only maintain its beauty for three hours. Oh. Oh, they were fast. They they also fat. They also very fat too. But also very fast. And fast and fat. I feel so sad that. It makes me want to sink a ship. I. I don't follow. <laughs> the nail man affair will be handled by the peacekeepers. You and your team will withdraw immediately. Bring in the detectives you sent out. The peacekeepers will take custody of them. D hold on. Hold on. I, I don't know what detectives you're talking about, and I don't know where any of them are. I'll wait until this flower withers. You have three hours. I'll not wait a second longer. Oh. If you fail to meet my demands, you will suffer the same fate as this flower. Wow. Fine, I get it, but... Can't you give me more time? It's a good thing they didn't go through the alleyway I was at. That He's would gone. suck. Chief Yako, are you all right? Oh, Yuma and Halara too. Yeesh, this is bad. Uh, listen, the peacekeepers just came by. Oh. I know. We were watching from over there. Huh? You were watching? You couldn't at least help me out. Hold on. Are you two the detectives they were talking about? Oh, no. I'm sorry. It's a long story, but it was probably us. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Why? What's going on? Oh, yeah, the, I'd let him know exactly about it. As the peacekeeper said, we are currently pursuing the mailman case. We'd like to search around the church. I was about to ask you to take us there, but you seem rather busy. Yeah, I'm real busy now, thanks to you two. <laughs> hey, how you doing today? I'm doing great. Hello, Star Wars Farag. I'm doing great. We're, we're jamming out on this new investigation. I'm taken away. If that happens, the last detective agency in town is done for. Ooh. Would you rather hand us over to the peacekeepers? Who do you think you're talking to? I'm the chief. I'd rather turn myself in than ever sell anyone out. Nice. I like this guy. This no, guy's cool. I wouldn't want to do that either, if I'm oh. being honest. Oh, well, there you go. Never mind. Never mind. Forget what I just said. God, I thought he was super cool. What should we do, Halara? Uh, thanks to you two, I know, right? <laughs> the chief, not us. Hi, Star Wars. The Star Wars frog. I love it. I love it. And turn the murderer over to the peacekeepers as originally planned. With enough evidence, they will have no room to reject the truth. No room. But we only have three hours. Three hours is more than enough. I will give my utmost effort as your assistant. With my logic, 
Anything is possible. Anything is possible. <sighs> I don't really get it, but it seems best to leave it to you two. We got it. You said you wanted got to go it. to the church? Let me mark it on the map. So it's now we have a time limit. Tag along. If we're seen together, things will get even more sticky. I'll huh. be right here, waiting for good news. I'm counting on you. <laughs> got it. We're off. Isn't it bad that they know three where we hours. are? You've got three hours to solve the case. Because I kind of was. I'm counting on you. Yeah, pretty much. There's still so much I need to do. Oh, what's this? picture something who could it be but yeah no like isn't it bad that they now know where we live because i thought the whole thing was that they didn't know where we were so that they couldn't get us but now they kind of just showed up and know where we are so they could always get us at any time kind of worried about that kind of worried <sighs> worship is pastime he smoked at least one hour a day what all right, to the church. You can get to the church from Kamasaki District. Time is short. You're not Let's wrong. Hurry. You sure you want to take a detour? Don't you want to save Buzzhead? Come on, over here. I'm. Tr I'm. Oh, she actually shows me the the quicker path. I actually like Let's that. Let's hurry to the church. It's kind. Of, it's kind of like a wave point in a way. I kind of like that. Cool, cool. We got this. We got this. I wonder where her forte is, though. That's gonna be really cool. The church. Dark forest is behind me. Uh, okay. Ooh, that's a creepy church. So the mailman urban legend originated at this church. Hmm. Ooh, very creepy. Mm. <laughs> oh, she doesn't like it. What's the matter, Halara? I hate churches. I find them devoid of value. Oh. Huh? She's a grudge against churches. Because prayer is obviously inferior to payment. Just look at the tragedies the city has seen. Oh, wow. There is no God to save you. The lost lamb should look to detectives for help instead, don't you think? She just wants more money. I don't know about that. Depends on the individual. Forget it. For now, let's talk to the people around the church. Will they even listen to us? They can't say no if we say we're on assignment for the peacekeepers. Oh, we're gonna lie. Is it okay to lie like that? What we Whether do. It's okay or not a secondary. Our priority is to solve the case. In order to achieve that, deception is at times required. Oh. Now let us educate those who are here that their true savior isn't beyond the rain clouds. Wow, whoa, hey, she's cute. What? Um what is it you wanted to speak about? I've already spoken to the peacekeepers a bunch of times. How many times do I gotta say it? She has ears. She has ears. She's like a kitsune. Oh my god, I like her. I like her. Uh, uh, hasn't the culprit already been arrested? Well, I don't mind. I have time to talk. Who's this guy? <sighs> I'm gonna say something. How long are you going to stand around like some tombstone? Our time is short. Why do you think we've gathered them here? Oh, yeah. Um, we have to question them, right? It's your move. I like the, I like the blue hair too. I like the blue hair. That guy is pretty cool. Do we really have to do this? I guess 
Alara seems intent on being the assistant. Yeah, new characters, gimme, gimme. Yeah, I like all the new characters. Much faster if Alara did this, Master. But I have to do it. No point in wasting time thinking about it. Yeah, I like all the new characters. They all look interesting and unique. Sorry, we're gonna be talking about we're gonna talking to cute girl. Um you are What are you blind? I'm a nun, obviously. You've got some nerve calling me here out of nowhere. Do you know how busy I am with choir practice? She's kinda mean though. What? Oh friggin' I wasn't paying attention. Man, I was I was I think I was distracted. I was distracted because I was checking out a really cute lady. Oh dare you guys know my weaknesses. You know my weaknesses. I get distracted easy when there's a cute lady on the screen. How dare. How dare. Emotional damage. See what you did there. See what you did there. <laughs> Welcome back though. Welcome back. I, 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 I need to be more on my toes when I know you're around. <laughs> Amaterasu Corporation. Oh. I don't care if you're on a mission from the peacekeepers. If you piss me off, Papa will make you regret mm. it. Mm. Mm. Stinky, that is all. Mm. 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 You're the stinky one, not me. No stinky. I'm definitely not the stinky. Oh, dare. How dare. Also, we like. <laughs> That is all. <laughs> it's not like a phone was ringing for a second. <laughs> How dare you use it against me? <laughs> no, you're stinky. You're the stinky one. Right. Um, I'd just like to ask some questions. I'll keep it quick. Do you know anything about this nail man? You mean the guy nailing up dolls? Well. Yes, TTS phone calls or announcements. I see, I see. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Whenever I've gone into the forest afterward, I usually find dolls nailed to the trees. The dolls have names written in what looks like blood. Oh. It's creepy as hell, really. In other words, it's totally metal. She likes metal, it looks like. I see. By the way, what happened to your right hand? Did you get hurt? But yeah, no, I like I like it when you guys make it like sound like boy like announcements or phone calls. They're funny. Hey, don't stare. It's nothing. Hmm. She hurt your hand. I overboard while practicing an instrument. Oh, really? An instrument? I'm working on this new thing I call Death Metal Choir. I was messing around on the base and well, you know. Oh really? Hmm. Is that Sus. your dominant hand? What kind of question is that? You wanna die or something? Oh snap. Oh uh it, it is her dominant hand. I'm sure of it. Oh. I see. Hmm. Hmm. Very cute, but not my personality style. And you are... I... I do the odd jobs, like cleaning around the church. I also care for the forest. Oh. Do you know anything about the nail man? I... I often patrol the woods, but I'm usually asleep at night. Mm-hmm. When morning comes around, there are dolls nailed to the trees. It's tough to clean all of them up. I've never seen the nail man itself, but I've seen people enter the forest plenty of times. Oh. Have you ever talked to them? I have, but they typically run away. Some get surprised and leave their nails and doll behind. I chase after them to give them back their dolls, but I'm never fast enough. Oh. They always get away. That makes sense with a body like that. Oh, ouch. I understand. Thank you very much. Shinigami. How dare. 
Hey, right, let's talk to this dude with the cool blue hair. Excuse me, but you are... Do you even have to ask? You know who I am. Huh? No, I think today is the first time we've met. What? You're investigating the nail man and you don't know who I am? Oh, that's crazy. What's yeah. What's that supposed to mean? This must be the clergy member on the report who was the first to find the body. Yeah, that's right. I was the first on the scene. Mm, why is he so happy about that? I'm impressed Halar was able to realize it so quickly. I've been attending every day since I was first baptized here as a child. That's how pious I am. But I don't work here, so it's not like I'm a clergy member. Why is he on there? I just love mystical places like this. There's an otherworldly feeling to it, oh. you know? I love researching this type of stuff, which is why I've been keeping an eye on Nailman activity for a while now. <laughs> so, you know a lot about the Nailman. That's an understatement. In fact, you could say I'm an expert in Nailman research. Oh. In that case, what do you think about the clock tower murder? Though it seems the suspect has already been arrested. I think he was framed. Oh, look at that. So this guy actually might be on our side. You do? Then who do you think the real killer is? The real mailman, obviously. Oh, okay, maybe, maybe. The yeah. keepers are making a big mistake. Listen, the nail man exists. The nail man is summoned through ritual and commits murder okay. based on a sacrifice. I gave him too much credit too quickly. <laughs> That's impossible. Yeah, I get it. You probably want proof. In that case, look for a doll in the forest. You'll find a nail doll with a name tag for the dark ceremony. Whoever's name is on it is the nail man's next target. Oh. Just follow someone in town with the same name. If you're lucky, you might have a run in with the nail man. One of he's the nail man, Unfortunately, you know? I wasn't so lucky. I've missed him by just a hair four times already. I see. So you can guess the next victim based on each doll's name tag. Mm -hmm. I was so close at the clock tower too. I found someone whose name matched a name tag and figured out she was heading to the clock tower. Yeah, we don't know much about her. I called the peacekeepers and entered the clock tower, but I was too late. Damn it. If only I had acted sooner. So she, he was there before the peacekeepers showed up. To meeting the nail man. I guess he just wants to meet the nail man and doesn't care about preventing the murders. So he's an occult enthusiast? Like a huge weirdo. <laughs> I wonder if we could ask him questions about um, the girl. Are you the priest of this church? That's right. My family has served this church for many generations. Though I only became a man of the cloth in recent years, the blood of martyrs spanning centuries dwells within me. Thus, my existence is but a piece of the eternal prayers offered. Mm -hmm. That is my mission, as the divine has guided me to do. I don't get why, but he sure seems proud to be a priest. Mm. Yeah, but like most churches and governments, they usually have a lot of ties to each other. I have no idea how that rumor spread. Perhaps it was even started by a wish made by those seeking salvation, which created the fantasy of nail man. Salvation? Mm. The people of this city must be crazy if they look to the nail man for salvation. Hey, that actually sounds kind of cool. <laughs> I know how they feel. <laughs> I want to tie you up and go to a world where it's just you. Uh, I love the romance between us. Isn't it basically already like that? 
I've talked to everyone. Halara, is there anything you'd like to ask them? Only end your turn once you've secured a shot at victory. Um, does that mean I should gather more information? What else should I ask about? About past nailman murders, about the dolls. Anything strange has happened. Yeah, let's talk about the past murders. Um, there have been several nailman cases in the past, right? Does anyone know anything about past cases? Well, I'm definitely going to be. You know a lot about these things, right? Yeah, is that dude? Yeah, you can ask me anything about the nailman, including all past cases, obviously. I was the first to find the body every time. That's a little sus. Huh? Every time? There's no reason to look surprised. I already told you how I did it. I find dolls with name tags in the forest. Then I look for whoever's supposed to be the next victim. But every time I find a victim, they're already dead. Being the first on scene each time sounds super suspicious. Yeah, very sus, very sus. She's a, she's a weird though. She's very weird. Don't you? I suppose you would. The first person on the scene can always lie and say they discovered the body in a locked room. But the thing is, I've never been alone when I've discovered a body. Mm -hmm. All of the crime scenes had no way in or out, so I'd open them with someone nearby or by asking the peacekeepers. So the body's discovery was never done alone. If that's true, then all the rooms really were locked. Mm -hmm. Master, why don't you ask for more details about past cases for now? Can you tell me more about each case? There have been three Nailman cases in three. the past six months. Well, I was getting creepy. Including the one at the clock tower. The first happened six months ago at a secret club in Kamasaki District. It's essentially a members-only casino. The victim owned the place. Oh. At the time... The nail man was just a name you'd sometimes hear about in urban legends. But I had a personal interest in the nail man, so I started researching him. Mm. And then it happened. I came across another murder while investigating a name tag I'd found in the forest. I knew then that it had to be the nail man. And that crime scene was also within a locked room? Yeah, all of the nail man crime scenes have common characteristics. Oh, let's hear it. What There's is always this? a corpse and doll coated in nails, and also the murderer leaves no trace behind. So right there, right there is two things I want to talk about. Okay, there's always a corpse and doll coated in nails. Like, is this one doll? Because we saw a lot of dolls there. Also, the murder leaves no traces behind, which we saw that the two uh, nails had like traces of the rope on it. So that still seems a little sus. Isn't that bizarre? See why I'm so interested in the nail man? I totally get it. Don't empathize with him. <laughs> the secret club was the first locked room mystery. As for the second, it was at a mansion in the residential area near Ginma District. Oh. About three months ago, the owner of the mansion was murdered in the building's study. Mm -hmm. The crime scene again took place in a locked room with a corpse and doll covered in nails inside. Considering all this, there's no doubt it was committed by the nail man. By then, I knew the legendary nail man had descended upon Kanai Ward. Oh. The third locked room mystery occurred a month ago. A woman was killed in an art gallery storage in Ginma District. It also featured a body and a doll covered in nails in a completely locked room. Mm -hmm. And today, the fourth locked room mystery happened at the clock tower. That's every single nail man case. At least, for now. For now. I'm sure the nail man will continue on. 
He will enact revenge for the people of Kanai Ward. Uh huh. Uh huh. The information obtained from the creatures that knew about the uh, so what about the dolls? That reminds me, is there any information about the dolls used in the nailman ceremonies? I know a few have been found at the crime scenes too. <laughs> you find that stuff in any doll shop. Doll shop? Is it a doll shop? Huh? You haven't seen one? What are you, a foreigner or something? Around here, all the craft shops have been selling fancy dolls for a long time. So he had all easy they access to get them. Souvenirs for tourists, but that industry is long gone now. That's what I was gonna say. Some places still sell them at steep discounts just to get rid of their stock. Mm. If you know where to look, you'll see mountains of illegally discarded dolls all over the place. Illegally. So they aren't much of a clue given how easy they are to obtain. Makes sense. Still good to know, though. Um, has anyone noticed strange things happening near the church lately? Wow, what a vague question. <laughs> vague question. Oh, uh, now that you mention it. Oh. <laughs> what is it? Uh, please, any small detail will help. Something strange was burning in the incinerator earlier. Oh. What do you mean by strange? Like, I thought it was a rope. Oh. But all I can say is it, it looked strange. The rope. Remember, she was strangled um, with the rope. Can you try drawing what it looked like? It does look like some sort of bizarre rope. Is it like a ladder? It's like a centipede with legs missing from one side. It looks delicious. Did he use the did he use like a kind of like a rope ladder? I was worried that it wasn't supposed to be burned. So I tried to take it out. <laughs> but I was too late. It was completely incinerated. But it was yellow. Hmm. I asked around to see if anyone knew about it. But everyone claimed they hadn't thrown away anything like it. Huh. The incinerator is surrounded by a locked fence. Only clergy can access it. Ooh. So, no one here recognized it? I didn't even work here in the first place. Only clergy can access the incinerator. But no one claims to have thrown it away. Okay, now I I think the the priest did it the, uh, the priest did it something's fishy either the priest or the cute girl and if the cute girl dies i'll be so sad a watchmaker was arrested earlier he's suspected of being involved in the nailman incident does anyone know anything about him a watchmaker you mean G.A. Colin? Oh, he's sweating. I've asked him to fix the church clock several times. To think that he's the mailman. Well, it hasn't been proven that he's the culprit yet. Oh, I see. He was sweating a but little if bit. If it were him, no one would blame him. What do you mean? This city has completely changed. Everyone is seeking salvation in some way. Mm. The nail man was born out of our situation. You mean the nail man is what the people actually wanted? Actually wanted? Many would certainly deny it, but the nail dolls continue to appear in our forest. If the nail man acts as their agent, then they are also the nail man. In a way. In a way. That's how I see it. What do you think? That's true. The nail man could be seen as a savior to some people. <laughs> After all, he kills the people you want dead for you. I mean, the victim had it coming for doing something worth getting killed over, right? Mm-hmm. 
I know. Now I'm starting to think that it might be one of the priests that did it. I think I've asked about everything I want to find out. Looks like time is almost up. Let's get going. Was that okay? Yes, it will suffice. Thank you for your cooperation. You should study their face as well. They may end up being accused of the murders. That's what I was thinking. Huh? You need to remember every face so you can spot them even if they flee through a crowd. <laughs> they definitely have so seen what some things, is? yeah. Do you mean the actual culprit is one of them? Perhaps. There's not enough information yet to act on. We have no time to waste. Let's investigate the other crime scenes. Mm-hmm. Best not to scramble what little gray matter rests in your head. Oh. So let's examine the crime scenes chronologically. Uh, okay. Well, the first murder occurred at... This is the secret club. It's the secret club in the Kamasaki district, right? I think it's either the priest or the girl. Which, if it's the girl, I'm gonna be sad. Because she was cute. <sighs> it won't let me fast travel. Ugh. I love the music. Ah, I should have done that in my head. Uh. This is a long mystery, though. We have to go through all these different places. Um, Alara, I've been thinking. The first incident was six months ago, right? If we go to the crime scene now, there's nothing left to investigate. <sighs> you think it will be a waste of time? There's no need to worry about that. Oh, why? So, you have a plan then? What? You're working with Halara Nightmare. Halara Nightmare. What more could you possibly ask for? Now, let's be swift. Mm, it's pretty lengthy, yeah. Huh? Right. Uh, not that I'm complaining, I actually love this. I think this is actually really cool. I, I like I like how lengthy it is actually They've left it like this for six months no well, it was the owner shirked their obligation to clean up I suspect the peacekeepers are lazy to a fault Wow <laughs> it's open. Let's go inside. She cry chopped it. Oh, so members only. There's only empty slots, roulettes, and card games. Many. Oh, dang. Ah, it still like lights up, even though it was abandoned. Oh, is that the body? Ugh. I wonder where the doll is. The peacekeepers may be sloppy, but even they wouldn't leave the crime scene completely untouched. The body was probably found around here. Mm -hmm. The victim's name is Sukuma Iho. 
an old man who owned this place. His reputation left much to be desired. Oh. This place was an illegal casino operating at obscene rates. Even the cheating was rampant. You sure know a lot about it. When did you... I told you, I gathered my own intel while waiting at the cafe. Oh. The real interesting note is that this crime scene also had no way in or out. At the time of discovery, the door was locked from the inside. There aren't any windows either, which is expected given that it's underground. Oh, that's interesting. There are air vents, but they have secure covers barring entry. Besides, no one's able to reach that high up. No windows. The only way in and out is the door that was locked from the inside. It's a locked room mystery. Locked room mystery. Ah, she's getting really into it. But there's not much more to investigate. We'll know what state the body was in at the time of discovery. I told you not to worry. The conditions have all been met. Mm -hmm. Conditions? Don't tell me you've forgotten I'm a master detective. Oh. Oh, your forte. Yeah, let's find out her forte. My forte is post cognition, <laughs> the power to see the past. Oh, that's useful. However, it can only be used at murder scenes. To be precise, I can only see how the crime scene appeared at the time it was first discovered. Oh. Another way to describe it would be as crime scene limited psychometry, if that's easier to understand. That's amazing! It's like the perfect forte for a detective! Oh, that's really useful. My power allows me to see the moment the first witness saw the crime scene. Not the culprit, not the victim, but how it appeared when a third party first entered. The memory or perception of the witness does not affect my postcognition. What I see is what actually was there. Oh. When it comes to my power, the witness is not a camera or a recording device, but rather a trigger. Perhaps the best way to think of it is like a bookmark stuck between the pages of when the body was found. Hmm. Well, there's no point in wasting more time explaining. Let's have a look. Let's do it. That power sure is convenient. It explains all the confidence. It's similar to the mystery labyrinth, where I recreate the crime scene in your mind. Oh. But now it's done in the real world. Although, it is limited to both the crime scene and the moment of first discovery. That's not as cool. Amazing. On the other hand, my master's got nothing. Why is life so unfair? Now I'm angry. Well, I have a Shinigami, which is good. Master, can I nibble on your heart to help cheer me up? A nibble? Of course not. As for Tazmi, it shows the crime as it was first discovered. All right, let's check it out. Oh, wait, I can read. What do you have to say? What does she have to say? What? Oh, can I not see what she sees? I guess that makes sense, but... Wasn't I also able to tell if other people use that thing? When I was on the train? I wonder why I can't tell now. Cognition. I wonder what it's like. All I can do is wait for the report. Well, do I have some good news for you? Huh? What is it this time? Master, try to remember. Did you feel like Yeah, see, this is what I was talking about. Me is confused. Okay, well, she's yeah. mentioning it now. Yeah, I could like feel when they use their powers. This sensation. I felt it when Aphex used his powers. Somehow and it Poochie. feels like I can hear what Poochie hears. Right. I 
I can sense whenever a master detective uses their power. Yes, that's it! Maybe your coalescence will work now. Coalescence? Coalescence? Simply put, it's the ability to share someone else's power. Oh. On the train, you only felt the resonance of other people's fortes, but its true function is to share their powers. Oh. Wait, then that means I can also see the scene in the past with Halara? That's amazing. Is this your ability, Shinigami? Huh? Is something like that? But there are conditions for it to activate. Hmm, what if that's my forte? Kiss someone to share their ability. What? Is that true? Kiss Halara? Ha! I lied. Okay, cool. I was gonna be like, what? You blush. Did you really want to? You still don't know if Halara is a boy or a girl. <laughs> oh, quit messing around and tell me how it works. You need permission from the person sharing the ability first. Then you must hold hands while the ability is active. Oh, still. That's it. Okay, I can do that. Alright, so this hopefully she allows me to hold her hands. Um, Halara. Hmm. Halara? I need you to be quiet. I'm concentrating. Sorry, but there's something I want to ask. Oh. I was explain. How do I explain without like showing that as you got me? Hold hands. You and me. Oh, is he? Is she getting yes, all day? I should I'll say. I'll be able to see the past too. I think. My source has made no mention of such an ability. In fact, you're just a trainee. Yeah, but I just remembered I had it. Anyway, we don't have much time. Let's try it. I have no intention of getting friendly with you. Oh. Oh, uh, it's not like that. I despise you. Oh, ouch. Huh? Just the thought of holding your hand makes my skin crawl. I wonder. Oh. I didn't know you hated me so much. Let me be clear. I don't just hate you in particular. I despise all of humanity equally. I don't trust anyone except the dead. Makes sense. <laughs> I had a feeling Halara must be a demon straight from hell. Uh, great mail. Then why did you choose to help me with the investigation? Is he getting paid? As I told you in the beginning, I always work sincerely for the payment I receive. As long as you promise payment, I will promise my utmost efforts as a professional. Mm. Then please hold my hand. It's necessary for the investigation. Oh. You can add this to my bill if you want. You'll agree then. Right? Oh, how much will it cost to hold her mm -hmm. hand? Fine. If it's what I must do as a detective, then I have no choice but to agree. So everything's all messed up. Oh, I can see it. Everything looks different than a moment ago. Oh, so I can. That's actually really cool. So this is post cognition. Oh. Can you really see it? So your coalescence is real. 
I didn't expect you to already have your own forte. Well, That's interesting. This does save me the trouble of reporting it back to you, but it's quite inconvenient to keep our hands joined. Very well. Go ahead and lead the investigation. Me? If you can see what I see, that would be for the best. I'm only acting as your assistant, after all. Only acting as the assistant. This is quite the bizarre crime scene. But unusual crime scenes are expected when you work for the WDO. True, true. Now, let's see what you're capable of. Okay, okay, let's see. Well, it's, the, mic, the mic is... MC's a little slow. Yeah, he's a little slow. He's still not getting the idea that is uh, still, you know, freaking... <laughs> Relying on the fact that he's an assistant, not anything else. Alright, so the table is moved, things fall on the ground, and then we have two dolls. That's a male too. Little doll male right in the middle of the room. Don't see anything in the It is in and it itself sneaking knowledge. Let's check out some more. Hmm? You were doing this. As far as I can tell, it doesn't really seem really to yeah. us. Let's check out on this. Okay. I have to hold her hand all the time. Yes. Oh, what's on the glass? A key. Oh, there's a key in the glass. Is it the key to the room? Oh. Seems like it. By the way, being an illegal casino, the security was extremely tight. There's only one master key. It's also a special key that can't be duplicated. Oh. If it was thrown in from outside the vent, it wouldn't be inside the glass. If it was thrown from outside the vent, it would be inside the glass. Well, that'd be an interesting throw, but I guess that's actually how they solved the lock mystery. They probably escaped from the vent. So this is definitely another locked room mystery! Hooray! I'm so glad I met you! So that's probably how they escaped, though. Yeah. Well, I mean, she's spotless. Looks like they're well taken care of. Yeah. So, if they escaped from that like small little vent there, then it must be pretty small, right? Oh, drinking. Oh, wow. And that's the guy. A body. I see a body. Oh. The murder scene through Halara's eyes is completely silent. There are dolls nailed to the walls and floor, and a corpse pinned down with nails in a similar fashion. He also strangled. It doesn't seem real. Look, he was strangled too. There are abnormal decorations all around the crime scene. And it's so, so quiet. Mm hmm. I knew it. The secret club has doll nail on the wall yeah. too. Must be the nail man's calling card. Nailed in the wall, seemingly at random, facing all directions. I can't find a pattern. 
Nothing can be connected to the corporate. Let's try something else. Then... Hey, this vent. This is the vent. Covered, covered the place, place, but it's been it screwed hasn't been off. Which means it could be easily removed. What? Easily removed, right? What are you doing? You can't touch what you see in post cognition. Even if you have to Oh, but look, 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 look. The um the nails are bent. Like someone used it to climb on top of and to uh, climb through the vent. So they definitely used the vent to get out and used the nails to climb up. Oh, I see. But I think this will be an important clue. The vent is about forty by thirty centimeters. <laughs> Then adult can probably pass through. Then adult. It's a man's corpse. He was probably around 60 years old. Oh wow. His body is pinned against the wall with countless nails. There isn't much bleeding, so the nails must have been hammered in after he died. You're starting to get the hang of this. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Yeah. Oh, there are marks on him. Signs that he was strangled. The vertical scratch marks were probably made when he resisted. Mm -hmm. The most basic of basic observations. Well, at least you noticed. That's thanks to everything I taught you. An adult or practically has no bones and is like an octopus, pretty much. I don't know how anyone would be able to fit it through a freaking vent like that. This situation is identical to the murder at the clock tower. The culprit first strangled the victim to death, and then decorated the room afterward. But why? By the way, Yuma, did you notice the nail below the vent? Yeah, I did. Below the vent? The vent. Huh, some of the nails are bent downward. Maybe they were hammered in a hurry. Nope. Or perhaps there's another reason. Another reason? I have to say, post cognition is amazing. You can see the exact crime scene the moment the body was first discovered. That's really useful, actually. Were you born with this power? My forte is no ordinary superpower. It is a highly refined technique heightened through training. So it's yum yummy yama. So you weren't able to use so it. So yummy yama. <laughs> I could, but initially it was just ordinary psychometry. Since I was young, I would often get sudden glimpses of the past, as if I was experiencing a flashback. Oh. After a while, touching people or objects resulted in visions flowing through my mind. I only learned it was a form of psychometry after growing older. Yama, yama, yama. Yama, yama, yama. Having psychometry as a trainee. Silly yama. Silly, silly yama. How dare. How do you not know about the pins and people walking on it? When we, the true detectives, are figuring this out way beforehand. I gave this ability three days. Three days? As I told you earlier, this ability can only see when a corpse is first discovered. It can't be used from the culprit or victim's viewpoint. It is only when a third party first witnesses a crime scene. There are conditions for my post cognition to activate. First, I must be exactly puts us scene. in the force. That's what puts us in the force. Required. Yes, the Trico's detective agency. I love it. Name and face. That's why prior research is crucial. Lastly, Post cognition is only effective in a 10 meter radius around the body. 
At this time, I can only see the crime scene and the victim. I can't see any living things that were at the scene. So if mm. someone was hiding in the room, you wouldn't be able to see them? No. My ability isn't so good at detecting people. Still, this is incredibly effective in investigating murder cases. Feel free to summon me whenever you need my help. Of course, I don't work for cheap. Of course. You're not gonna change your mind on that, I guess. The victim, I want to be strangled here at the place. Hmm. That's true, too. The lock is broken. Maybe someone broke it and forced their way in, like at the clock tower. Mm -hmm. But from the looks of it, there's no sign of the lock or door being tampered with. I think that's about it. Go cool. and investigation. Alright, we've got a good amount of stuff so far. There isn't much else to investigate. I've never experienced this before, but it's surprisingly convenient to be able to share my post-cognition. It's exhausting to explain what I see to a client. Really? People do not believe what they cannot see. I have often been called a liar. I wonder. I suppose fortes aren't always convenient. We still have locked room mysteries to examine. The second incident was at the mansion near Yingling District. I have an idea of where to go. Let's hurry there. Mel Fox. Religious well, practice of the church. Symbol of a spear piercing to a crescent moon. Or oh, it is thou shalt not bear old precious. The building we're heading to is accessed through Yima District. Let's hurry there. Onward. Palace, meat bunch. Fish and warm fish are really good.
starting to get those headaches again. So. Give me a second. Okay. Ugh. Sorry about that. <sighs> yeah, I'm fine. I just, like I said, I've been getting a lot of headaches lately, and I thought having food would help, but still, still getting these headaches again. I wonder is because. Um, staying at, I'm getting the lights shining in my face, all the other stuff, but we'll see. Ooh, hey, continue onward. There's a large mansion beyond the gate over there. I wonder if that's the second crime scene. We probably do this. And that's probably it. Let's go inside. Yeah, maybe it's lights. Yeah, maybe. After this, after this, uh, after we investigate this crime scene, I'm going to probably um, stop and probably pick this up again next week if you don't mind. Oh. Are you sure? <laughs> that smile. I wanted to I wanted to do a long stream for you guys today, but my head's splitting like an onion. It looks like a haunted mansion. Uh, I hope there aren't any ghosts around. I have a feeling they'll appear this time. I've been meaning to ask, but aren't you kind of a ghost yourself? Yeah. The incident occurred about three months ago. The victim was Ali Hohen, the owner of this mansion. He had no family, <sighs> lived alone. The mansion is now empty and dilapidated. Mm. The crime scene is in the study near the back. Let's go. The mailman killings had another common factor. Besides the locked room, is the dolls. The first person to find the body was always the same person. True. Is that more 
worshiper from church? Do you suspect him too? What he said did make sense. He's been obsessed with the mailman and had access to the names of potential victims. It's not too surprising for him to be the first on the scene each time. I guess I shouldn't assume things going into this. That's right. It's down this hallway. The crime scene is in the room on the right side. There's little time. Let's head straight there. Ha! Think your partner's now? Just because you held hands with my master! Oh, she's jelly. I'll have you know, Master and I are connected on a much deeper level. Oh, yeah. Don't make it sound so suggestive. Feels like a jump scare's coming up. <laughs> so this is the study where the crime took place. Oh, it's open. I wonder if the lock was broken at the time of discovery here too. There's nothing left here either. It's all cleaned up. I don't want to do it, but... I suppose I can share my post-cognition again here. Are you sure? Don't make a big deal out of it. Just make it quick. Oh. Why are the fish still alive? That's true. Maybe they've been cared for since the owner was killed. Pretty bad. They came some kind of secret passage. Yeah. The crime scene of the murder is vividly brought to life before us. It all happens in silence. As though awakening from an eternal slumber. But the corpse will never wake up again. Mm -hmm. Even if the corpse did awaken, the nails pinning him down would prevent him from rising. No, Ed! The door is the only entrance and exit to the room. Oh no. Let me know when the ad goes away. Yeah, I wish it would tell me when the ad's about to happen. It just tells me when an ad already has passed. Uh. Curse you! <laughs> Are you back? Is that no ad? I'm back now. Cool. There are no windows and the vent is small. I don't see any escape routes from the locked room. Maybe the doll nailed to the wall holds the answer to this bizarre mystery. Ooh. Wonder why those. A projector. Uh, I'm everything is extremely usual and unrelated to the case. Oh, that's kind of weird. Oh, the lamp is light and pointed toward pointed at the table. It wasn't. And the switch. Uh. Let's check every nook and cranny. 
I wonder why the the bookcases were all lit up. I don't think it is a healthy case. Uh. Hmm. What is that thing? It appears. The wall. I'll say this painting was huge at an angle. By a mistake during the investigation. The hallway. Yeah. I see. It's all on the wall. There's only one doll nailed to the wall. Comparatively, there was a nearly obnoxious number of dolls nailed to the walls in the other crime scenes. Why is this the only one? Maybe there was no room to nail them to the walls because of all the bookshelves in the way? Wait, this doll has both eyes gouged out. Oh. Did the Maybe. culprit do this on purpose? This keeps getting more and more disturbing. But it's kind of creepy, cute. I want to put one next to the top of a staircase so people can run into it at night. Wow. You want to do that? You know, this doll seems made of cheaper materials compared to the other ones. Oh. Hey, you're right. Like it's made of resin instead of porcelain. The texture looks cheap, but also more durable. Too bad it doesn't have eyeballs. Huh. The eye holes are connected to each other in the head cavity. It's like that darkness is staring into me. Creepy. Huh? There's a mark on the edge of the eye holes near the nose. It looks like a string rubbed against it. Oh. How did this mark get here? String. That's interesting. Why would there be strings on the eye hole area? Seems like they see he was killed here. This is the victim's neck again. The cup the death here appears to be strangulation as well. And like the others, there are rope marks around the neck and traces of a struggle. Oh, but on a closer look. There's a mark left by a thin string on the back of his neck. Hmm. It couldn't have been the rope that was used to strangle him. The thickness is completely different. Yeah. There are two different types of string marks in the body. Was he strangled twice? Hmm. But even then, it'd be odd to only have marks behind his neck. And why do the strings have different thicknesses? Anyway, it's an important piece of evidence. Ah.
That is interesting, though. The victim is a well-built man, approximately 30 years old. The corpse here is also covered in nails. His appendages and chest are all nailed to the floor. The owner of this mansion made his fortune in real estate from an early age. Mm -hmm. But along with aggressive land sharking and other illicit transactions, he made shady deals with Amaterasu Corp. Oh. There are several reasons he'd be hated. A doll with his name on it was bound to be nailed to the church bars. I wonder how the person who cursed him feels now that he's actually dead. Perhaps they feel no responsibility. They just hopped on the urban legend bandwagon. Is that really the case? Wait. This is odd. Did you find something? Look closely. The length of the nails driven into the corpse are all slightly different. Huh? The length isn't the problem here. It's how hard they were hammered in. What do you mean? The nails driven into the lower torso went through the body and into the floor. But the nails in the upper torso did not penetrate all the way through the body. Oh, huh, why? But why is why that? Why would the culprit not hammer the nails in as hard on the upper body? That's, That's so weird. A natural thing. Take a look at the blood. The nail wounds on the lower torso appear to be bleeding sideways. But the upper torso wounds are bleeding vertically down toward his waist. The huh. blood flows differently between the You're right, and that's so body. weird. Maybe the upper and lower torsos are different people, and they were smushed together after death. That's, that's so disturbing. weird. Face us, face us. Was he like hung a different direction and then when he was placed on the floor he was he was stabbed that's so interesting there's a vent but it's too small for a person to fit through and it's also screwed shut from the inside. It seems impossible to remove. What's this now? Master, I discovered something. There are marks in the gap between the vents, like something scraped against it. Hmm. Really? But given your height, you couldn't see it even if you stood on a chair. Halara, can you use that chair to peek into the vent? I will do so for 10,000 shen. You're charging me for it? <laughs> I just. I get it. Hmm. The marks in the vent seem to be left by strings rubbing against it. Hmm, strings. Did someone hitch a string to it or something? It shouldn't even be visible from your perspective. I'm surprised you noticed. I'm cool oh, like that. Uh, it was just a hunch. See? I told you I'm useful. I do way more than just float around. You should give me 10,000 shien as a reward. Oh, yeah. I'm getting a headache. Same, though. Same. No, <laughs> there is only the master key. No spares exist. The scenario resembles a loft room mystery in a casino. We can disregard the possibility of a duplicate key. The master key was found in this room at the time of discovery. This is also similar to the locked room mystery in the secret club. But there is one difference the key was found. Underneath the corpse. There's one uh, found underneath. Under the corpse? 
but we can't move the corpse in the past, so we can't confirm if that's true. Postcognition isn't all-powerful, but it's a fact that the key was found under the corpse. Uh -huh. I have a crime scene photo, taken back then, in my jacket pocket. No detail has slipped past my efforts. Oh. Right. That's a little awkward. A cat? Wait, what? Huh? What's this? He likes. She likes cats. Wait, not that one. I meant the other photo. Oh this my God. To the case. She. She's a cat person. Oh, this is it. You're right. The key's near the middle of his back. That's adorable. But can this photo be trusted? Could it be something the peacekeepers fabricated? The peacekeepers acknowledged the incident occurred in a locked room. Besides, there's no need for fabrication. After all, it would be more convenient for them to have fewer mysteries to deal with. That's true. Sorry for being doubtful. No, that's expected of a detective. You're starting to that's very cute. To do your job. Oh, look at that. He's learning. Was that a compliment? I like blushing. Know it takes to please you. <laughs> also, I drew a sketch of the room's state on the back of that photo. Remember it well. Yeah, okay. But why a sketch? How could it help solve the mystery? Also, what was with that cat photo anyway? <laughs> surprisingly cute. Very cute, very cute. Well, the, the, the other said doll. Now we've gathered enough evidence. Though it appears complicated at first glance, the answer is simple. Cool. Lara, did you already solve the locked room mystery? What? You haven't? Oh. There's a no way to dark. solve it with what we have. How was the room locked? It's unfit for one detective to ask another that question. For the sake of your own pride, you must figure it out. Ouch. Unless you'd like to hire me to do it for you, it won't come cheap. Oh. I'll figure it out myself. It's really all about the money with Halara. Halara. The longer I'm with Halara, the deeper into debt I'll get. It's starting to scare me. Now, let us be swift. Next up is our last crime scene. But wait! The next one is the art gallery in Gima District. We're running low on time, so we must hurry. Right. The chief's in danger after all. Google, I think we're going to end it off right there for now. Um, I wanted this to be a long one, so I feel really bad that I'm cutting it a little bit short. Uh, but I promise you the next one we do, next one we do will be an extra long one. Okay, extra long one for the next one, okay? We'll do an extra long stream for yeah. Uh next time we do a stream, which should be Monday. Should be Monday. I could do one Friday or Saturday if I feel a little bit better. So maybe I'll have to be after work, so it might be a late stream. So we'll see. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe we can pull maybe we could do like a poll on Discord. Well, how are you like that, Ruth? Would you like to have a poll on Discord to see people who be interested in joining in on a Friday or Saturday stream? What do you think? 
The Sunday I'm already doing a VTuber interview. Ugh. I think that might be kind of cool to try. Yeah. Okay. We'll we'll post a we'll post a poll. Uh, not tonight. I'm gonna go to sleep right after this. After this, I'm just going straight to sleep. Um, but I think we're gonna do a poll sometime tomorrow. Um, to set up. Um, if we should do a, a stream either later Friday, Saturday, or Monday. So we'll get you that. But thank you so much for joining in. You guys are freaking amazing. I always appreciate you guys coming by and checking it out. I love, I love this game. This game is so much fun. And I'm really enjoying every bit of it. I, I can't wait to play more of it. We're going to be playing more of it. We're playing through the full series on this stream. Uh, well, on this Twitch. So get ready for the long haul for this. But yeah, thank you guys so much for joining in. Thank you, Ruth. You being awesome as ever. And we will see you guys next time. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Bye-bye.